Alright, so we heal for four, put them we get to six. Not one more family, not one more soul. Keep your distance. Pushing my limits. Not dead. Darkness and light. And now we get fast speed final spark that costs negative one mana. <laughs>and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some senna lux is our first deck of the day this is going to be a control deck with a little bit of darkness because there's not a whole lot of darkness cards in shadow Isles, but some darkness cards but then also with lux uh combining these two together so the reason why we want to combine these is because uh senna wants to see you slay units with spells okay so we're going to be playing spells and slaying units with them. Well, if we're playing spells, then Lux wants you to cast spell, you know, cast six mana worth of spells to create the final spark. And of course, a final spark is going to help us slay a unit, and it'll be a spell slaying a unit. So they just kind of work together. Uh, you know, we, we want to play spells with both of them. We want to kill stuff with spells uh, to level up Senna, and the final sparks can help doing that. So, um, yeah, so that's what that's what we're going to be kind of combining these to do. So we need to stay alive. You know, we have a five-mana champion, a six-mana champion. We're playing a control deck. So we got early blockers. Um, I'm pretty excited about Mage Seeker Conservator, because that's going to be creating some random expensive spells that could be pretty sweet. Uh, Egghead Researcher, making some random dragons that could be pretty sweet as well. And then just some other blockers like Fading Icon, the Spiderling from Vile Feast, like that kind of stuff. Um... Tenor of Terror is here in the mid-game to just be two different blockers at, you know, 2-3 and a 3-2, so we're getting two bodies for four mana. That should help do some blocking. And since we're going to have, like, these other things do blocking and everything, then we'll hopefully have Radiant Guardian be able to come down, have one of those small things die, get that lifesteal and tough. We'll also have Ixtali Sentinel for other lifesteal, Piercing Darkness, Healing, our Nexus, all of that. Also Remembrance. We have all those like little small things die that helps reduce the cost of remembrance or we can just play it for six mana to help out like lux and stuff like that so that's gonna be our deck it's gonna be senna lux together let's try it out let's see how we do we're gonna go play our five games in ranked i feel like we're probably gonna do pretty good against the aggressive decks um other control decks i'm gonna be a little bit more worried about i'm a little worried about like us having enough power at the top end not sure. We do have one crumble in the deck to destroy landmarks because you have to destroy the bandle tree these days against those bandle tree decks. All right, we're, we're definitely not keeping more than one six mana unit. And I'm gonna keep, I'll keep a Lux. Like it's, it is our champion for a reason, right? Like we want to slam Lux on round six. And yeah, GC, GC Owned says hello to YouTube. I think this could be a pretty decent Radiant Guardian meta. As far as Radiant Guardian metas go. Sentinel is kind of a little bit better, like, oh no, because they just have, they're going to have Ziggs challenge the Spiderling, aren't they? Okay, let's go Tenor. I was going to say we could block Ziggs with Sentinel and then shoot it, but yeah, they're going to do that. Okay. So if I do this, okay, we still take, still take the one damage. I'm not sure if I want to do Glimpse Beyond. Do I want to? Yeah, probably. You will sing. Going with this route definitely means like no Radiant Guardian this next round. Well, 
We got a lot of five and six mana cards. So double spelling is not going to be an easy thing to do. <laughs> Want to see what it does? <laughs> yeah, an actual zigzag. Let the light guide you. That thing's pretty big. Seven six overwhelm spell shield, pretty big. Really hoping no mini morph over there. So that's like my best play is like piercing dar darkness the zig get the final spark kill the uh restored devout the problem here being uh, mini morph but i think that's just how life is seven six overwhelm spell shield okay Wow. That was even worse than anticipated. For me. One of those does two damage to me. Dang. So it looks like they're gonna have like a pokey stick or a quicksand. Also. Pretty rough. There is light yet within me. My plan is to have darkness shoot the zigs. I see the awkwardness though of all of our cards costing so much mana. If they're able to unload their hand and we are not. That's a good card. Gotta hope we stay alive here. I guess it doesn't. Yeah, it just doesn't matter which one blocks which. Zero. No, I guess we're not going to be staying alive. You will see. 
That's too bad. Exact lethal. If we could just stay alive here, then, you know, we get double Radiant Guardian, and then next round we get a Sentinel. And that's actually, like, pretty powerful if we could just stay alive here, but we can't. That's too bad. But alright, our deck was doing some stuff. Our, our opponent just had a wonderful hand. The triple zigs, this thing plus that uh, card to destroy it and protect the zigs. They just had a wonderful hand. Darkness control. It'll be interesting. Hopefully our Lux doesn't get mini morphed again. Let's send it back. Single combat could actually help take out a Vagar. Now that'd be pretty tough. All right, let's just send it all back. All right, not doing so good finding our early units. Looks like our deck can have a lot of awkward hands. Or we're just incredibly unlucky, one of the two. <laughs> what is this, all this nonsense? I held it on Miss Call. I guess they could have the plus one plus, or like the thing that makes it a one six also. Okay, good. No miss call. For the wicked, for the dead, I bring rest. Couple of those. Do you want to slay things with units? Or, sorry, we want to slay things with spells. Still get to attack. Alright, so doing that, of course, to level up my Senna. So Senna won't die. We are the light. We are the dark. We are alive. That's an awesome level up animation. Keep your Okay, let's cast this right now, and then probably just that. So that leaves me with four mana. Okay, I'm gonna play like both of these for the four mana. Or all three of those. Send it pretty good. You don't see the um, grant the plus the cost to the units too often. Take a look at this. With a little time, I'll have a breakthrough. Confine and contain. 
Infinite Mind Splitter. I think a researcher will just get you some awesome cards. No, not not checking out worlds today. Just doing our, our normal stream and everything, making my content like like normal. So I want to play Mind Splitter. I've been think, thinking about playing Mind Splitter, but I feel like we're supposed to kill Senna. I don't know. We could maybe just play the Mind Splitter. No, let's let's just try to kill Senna. All right, so we've killed one Vagar and one Senna so far. Gross. Keep your distance. It's pretty good now, because these, these darknesses cost only one mana. They'll be able to make another one. Deal four to a unit. Well, that's a good number to deal. Darkness and light. Halt. Not the egg. You'll go no farther. It's one damage to get. I take one to put one on the stilted robe maker. I guess so. Man, I want to try Infinite Mind Splitter, but we would kind of be all in on that Infinite Mind Splitter. Only four cards. Hopefully, I don't have like a mini more for a Vengeance or something that kills the Mind Splitter. Because otherwise, I'm looking at. Like, if I want to play Shifting Sands to kill Senna. Let's see, we get two Sand Soldiers. Those both die. That's. Uh, that's not going to quite get us to Remembrance. Basically, we'd be playing that in a 3-2, and the 3-2 just dies to the darkness, so. Alright, mine's, mine's what it is. Sometimes you just gotta hope. Give me your valley straight to some doom! Turn it against them. There is light left within me. One mana darkness is so nice. Spotlight on me. Down to six. Maybe if I would have led with that, maybe they would have played that and I could have single combat. Guess they're going to be able to make another darkness. Looks like. What happens if I do this? Okay, we still make the sand soldiers. I'm just kind of planning on like the sand soldiers dying and then like one of these other things dying and we remembrance, but that that does mean their twisted catalyzer gains you know like one more point of damage for the darkness everywhere. Otherwise, I darkness their catalyzer and don't let that happen. All 
Alright, so predictably everything died. And cast both Remembrance. Maybe hit a Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian. A Guardian that's Radiant. Radiant Guardian. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Let's just Vile Feast this thing. Block this thing. Good old six mana Vile Feast. Four. That's uh, you know, that's Vagar. We die. Work the fabric, minions. Work okay. it. There is light yet. So all of their darkness now costs zero mana. We could play this first, and then play Senna, and then we summon a darkness. But we'll also summon a darkness from attacking. So I think it's just Let's good to just get the own. cost reduction first before playing it. Fast speed, do four to an enemy. Let's fast speed vengeance. In case they kill my Senna, I want to have the backup Senna. Turn it against them. Do I use this Hextech Transmogulator? Sure. I don't know, I guess so. Oh, why not? Keep your distance. The game's not over yet. That thing turns into a 1 6. Alright, so now that's game over. We'll just have this thing strike my Nexus. Which does mean it will grant their darkness ever 1 damage. But we got our 8 damage. Super close game. Ended up getting there. That was super close. All right, one and one. Battle's done. Back to the war. Good question. No, if we uh, transfer the spider into the rekindler, no, you do not get a champion. It just makes it the 4-4 body in play. It doesn't get any summon effects because it's not being summoned. It just, just makes it the 4-4. Caitlyn Draven. This is a good deck. It's going to be a tough matchup. Just because they're a good deck. So we're going to have Mage Seeker, Mage Seeker Conservator for, for sure. Hello. I mean, I kind of want to keep the champs because they're good because they're the champs. We're going to have stuff in between, but we do already have like two things. There we go. We, I was going to say we already have two things to play that we know about. And, you know, we'd have three draws before round three and so on. Oh, okay. 
So it looks like they're a burn version of Draven, Caitlyn. I wish I would have Mulligan Deluxe. Oh, not another Senna. Sounds like a good song title. Not another Senna. Of course, we want this thing to die because we want this 6 plus cost spell. What are we going to get? Boomerang Blade. So just so we have that information of what that card is going to be. And this is the round where we want to save our spell mana anyway. Gross. Because then I want to play the Tenor next round and then Senna plus Darkness the following round. So I don't actually want to play anything. I don't really want to play the Glimpse Beyond. Even though we could block and Glimpse Beyond really want to. It would keep them from getting the two flash bomb traps, of course. But I want to save that for after Senna. Where we're slaying units with spells. Glimpse Beyond does count as a spell. One goes down, thousands to go. That's a lot. So Boomerang Blade does it... Oh, this is an ally strikes the strongest and weakest enemies. Oh, I was thinking this was the, uh, like the Sivir Champion spell, the the deal one randomly five times card. But I guess this doesn't count as a quote unquote kill spell. Yeah, I didn't get the new darkness. Oh, really? Station Archivist is stronger than Caitlyn? Come on. What are we doing here? Alright, I'll play that after we have Lux in play. So we can get lots and lots of slays. We could have leveled up Senna this round, though. Like, if we play Boomerang Blade, it kills two, and then I can just, like, Vile Feast my own 1-1 one, one after it blocks, or Glimpse Beyond, you know, either way, and make that the third for leveling up Senna. So we could have leveled up Senna right here. Can you improve perfection? Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian, Radiant Guardian. Because I wanted to play the Boomerang Blade, but now I have to play Radiant Guardian. Which means we don't get a final spark. Because having the Radiant Guardian play first before Boomerang Blade, that's just the way to go. I didn't glimpse because of flash bombs. Keeping Vile Feast would allow us to Darkness Plus. Strike for justice. Vile Feast to kill one of these things. Oh, this is letting Caitlyn strike again. It doesn't add up. Turning yourself in. Let's investigate. Speaking of slow, I wish this was fast. That's not good. Down to six. Really hope they don't have the burn to finish me off. No, don't have more burn. Come on. I had so much burn. I'm glad we got the... Radiant Guardian in play, but they can't have another burn spell. And light. They haven't done any damage to me since I was at like 16. There's just been all these burn spells. Alright. 
Why does this have to be slow? It's a kill spell. It should be fast. Come on, please work, please work, please work. If it works, we probably win. If it doesn't, we lose. No. Okay. So we know we can do that. We can stop that. Turn it against them. Alright, so we heal for four, put them we get to six. Not one more family, not one more soul. Keep your distance. Pushing my limits. Not dead. Darkness and light. And now we get fast speed final spark that costs negative one mana. <laughs> oh man, that was so close. I was sweating over here. Would it help if I apologized? Gang for link. Szechuan-y. Obviously, with these kind of decks, you have to kill both champions, Gangplank and Sejuani, and we should do a pretty decent job of killing the champions. So we're going to keep Remembrance for round three. Round three, Remembrance, and... I mean, Sentinel is Lifesteal, and Lifesteal is going to be really important, so I could see keeping Sentinel, but also don't really want to keep six mana stuff. Okay. So we'll see what happens. We... Okay, so we're probably going to play the Fading Icon and not make their round... Yeah, we're going to play this Fading Icon. Not make their round three open attack as good. Gross. That's the worst possible thing that could happen. And that's also just a damage on... Yeah, that was just... That was just awful. I was hoping those things would die round three here, and then we'd have our four mana Remembrance. Yeah, that did not go well. I am here until I am no more. Me, 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 me. It's humbling. We had to play the creative card or kill a unit with the spell. We didn't do either. Just forget about the clauses, you know. I just kind of think that this is always... You get the two units, but that's not the case. Gaze into the light. I fight for the fallen. So certainly wish I would have kept... You want to play like Mage Seer Conservator instead and, and then just save spell mana. Want to mail to single combat with this Radiant Guardian in case of the deal 5, but it doesn't look necessarily like they have the deal 5. You will be scoured from this land! Water is mine and mine alone. This is not such one. So we get two damage on this thing. Confine and contain. Explosives. They have the champions. Those two champions are killer. Ride onward. Time to get rich. You will Purifier could be kind of nice. Of 
Good job, Dan. You got your Nami deck now. Crafted the last cards you need. Very nice. I like it. Hmm. I just don't understand how I'm supposed to beat Sajwani. I just don't think it's possible. I can't I can't figure out any any way to possibly do it. Cause obviously they're gonna have like other warning shots and stuff too. You would think. Unless we draw vengeance. Oh yeah, it's been GG ever since they played Sejuani. I mean, that's not GG. It's been GG for a long time. That puts me now to two. This is eight. This is six. Champions are the main problem, not Dreadway. The champions are. I can't really beat the champions. The elements bind the living and the dead. Just nothing really matters here. We're just wait, wasting time. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, let's move on. Obviously, they have more warning shots that we know about in hand. This thing's very over. If we could curve out and you know go Radiant Guardian into Lux five into six, like like my last opponent curved out, then Gangplank into Sejuani, that'd be nice. But I just don't know if we're gonna really curve out. So we probably have to send him back. At least that. I think we can maybe get away with the Radiant Guardian, maybe. I don't know if Gangplank Sejuani beats Vague Arsena. I don't know. I just I don't know. I've I've never played that matchup, I don't think. Took my my only good card to single combat. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Hot in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Loud and loud. Another really really good start for the opponent. I don't know if it gets better than this. 
Probably doesn't. Man, this is sad. This single combat's pretty sad. Could sacrifice the Mage Seeker Conservator to see what our 6 plus cost spell is. But then again, I also do like being able to have that thing as a blocker. Oh, yeah. I'm playing that card, too. It'd be nice to have that one. I think I pass and take a lot of damage and then play Radiant Guardian. gonna have you know rally if that was like their their plan was rally we do have the radiant guardian with single combat set up i kind of I hope that, you know i hope that they rally cool all right so we'll go ahead and single combat that doesn't mean that they have the four power like do i need to kill the bandle commando instead it's possible that i do yeah, I actually think I probably have to kill this Bandle Commando instead, right? But then, so now Raiding Guardian's at two health. Gonna kind of be dying to a lot of stuff, but yeah, we got we gotta kill this Bandle Commando. Okay, so I'm still at nine. So I can true shot barrage and deal like three, two, one. That would be a good line, but the problem with that line is you need to play Senna and get fast speed true shot barrage. The problem with that line, of course, is um, you know, then they get to just, you know, play other stuff and they're not even counting if they have a Rangers Resolve, and then they get to play other stuff and then be able to attack after that. That's the good thing about Senna is that this would then be fast speed against an open attack, but otherwise we could play Sentinel and get a lifesteal unit out here. And then I still have Vengeance for a fast speed. The elements find the living and the dead. I had one more mana and if I could play Fading Icon plus Senna, that would have been ideal. Please pass the round. Please don't rally. Alright, two and three. Dang, awesome hands from our opponent the last two rounds. Really struggled in the mid-game, right? Our round like three, four, five were all really poor. Um, that's that's really where we just got super far behind. Just had too much, you know, too many fives and sixes basically. Round three and four were a real struggle. If we didn't, you know, if we didn't have Sentinel and Tenor, our round three and four was pretty bad. And um, people just had some good answers. You know, like they had the one mana thing to shoot our fading icon and the Bandle City Mayor. You know, like they went Bandle City Mayor on three and then played out more stuff and then Lulu on four. And I kind of had nothing on three and four. So that's where we struggled. We ended every single game with a lot of cards in hand. We just couldn't get, couldn't play them. Just couldn't spend enough mana. It was really difficult to double spell, triple spell every round with so many fives and sixes. But that's the thing about Senna and Lux together. Like they're you know your champion are five. You know your two champions cost five and cost six, so super expensive champions. But then like your other cards that like go the best in the deck also cost five and six with Radiant Guardian and Ixtali Sentinel. Um, and then of course with Lux, you also want these other six. Like it's that's what makes this champion pairing pretty difficult 
could just play a lot lower curve and play like no radiant guardian no sentinel and maybe that's the way to go is just get rid of guardian and sentinel and just play more you know two and threes and stuff uh, you could play more things to sacrifice and you can play like the the four mana four one that's like the glimpse beyond by itself i don't know it doesn't sound like you're really maximizing lux at that kind of deck so maybe just more Ruination. Like, Ruinations could have been pretty nice to have in a couple of those last games. Like, you kind of need Ruination against your Gangplank Sejuani, right? Like, you need Ruination against the Poppy deck doing all that kind of stuff. Maybe that's an, an answer. And you could play other things that control the board, like Laurent Protégé. Like, Protégé would maybe control the board better than Sentinel. So you could be going, like, Protégé, Doom Beast drain you know like that kind of stuff and then you know maybe some bigger effects like some ruinations because imagine we had ruination like and then that last game we could play senna pass the round have the fast speed ruination available maybe that's what we need to do we'll keep you know keep working on it there's a lot of cards there's a lot of cards that you can play in this deck but not a lot of cards that I love, and that's why it was really difficult to put it together. Because there's there's a lot of options, but not not very many like obvious, definitely go this route kind of thing. But there's a lot of different routes to go, um, and a lot of cards that are playable. So it makes it difficult. All right, but anyway, that's going to be Senna Lux. That's our first deck of the day. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments if you got ideas. For Senna Lux, definitely leave them in the comment section because, like I said, there are a lot of cards that you can play. But, you know, if you've got any ideas of, like, maybe try this card instead of this card because of this reason, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, definitely put them down there in the comment section. All right, but that's it for this video. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.